Hi everyone, it is December daily day 20. However, I'm going to show you how I've crocheted these snowflakes. Um, I'm doing it with this sort of chunkier yarn as opposed to the crochet thread just because it's easier to show you and I'm using this Rico Rumi. Um, it's a 100% cotton double knit yarn and I'm using a three millimeter crochet hook. Um, so I'm going to start with a magic loop. So I'm wrapping it around and just chaining one to secure it. So where you'd normally start, you'd pull this tight and do a chain. We're not doing that, we're going to work into the loop. I'm going to do seven single crochet into that loop. Um, I will try and get today's video out, but we're doing a quiz night tonight via Zoom. So it depends how long that goes on for us to whether I can get my journaling done. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for that if you're interested. So to join the loop, I'm just doing a slip stitch into the first single crochet and I'm pulling that um, loose chain really tight to pull the, pull the circle together. Then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to work a single crochet into the same space. Um, so the first chain on the previous round. From here, we're going to chain three and then work a single crochet into the next chain space. And we're going to do that 11 more times. So you're going to create 12 loops. So we're chaining three and then single crochet into the next space along. And again, do that all the way around to the end. Uh, and we're going to slip stitch again in the top of the first chain to join. And you can sort of see here that I'm doing the um, slip stitch into the chain and I'm counting to make sure that I've got 12 spaces. So you can see that one quite clearly. You want 12 of those gaps uh, in between. So those are the chain three spaces that we've created and we're gonna work into those spaces. So the first thing I'm gonna do is slip stitch into the, the first space. So where your hook is, you're just going to go to the first space and slip stitch straight into that space so we can start working from there. So the next round we're going to start by chaining three and then we're going to do two double crochet together. So yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull up a loop and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. From here, chain five, and then we're going to go and work the two double crochet together into the next space. So that's four and five. So yarn over, go into the next chain three space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops only. Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two loops only. Then yarn over one last time and pull through all three loops on the hook. You see my thread's gotten caught here. So I'm just trying to separate it so I can pull it through the full loop. So pull through and then chain five again. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. So yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two loops only. And do that once more to do two double crochets together. Pull through all loops on the hook. And then you want to chain five and then work into the next space. On the very last space, we're going to just slip stitch into the top of the first uh, two double crochets together. And again, you want to make sure that you've got 12 spaces here. So this is exactly the same as the previous round in the respect of having those spaces. You can see it a lot clearer here. 
Um, so you want to make sure, as I say, you've got 12. We're going to do a six prong snowflake. So we're going to start with our first prong uh, and I'm going to start by slip stitching into the first space as we did on the previous round. So we'll start by chaining three here and then we're going to do four treble crochet together. So we're yarning over twice this time, pull up a loop, you're going to pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through another two loops. So yarn over twice, pull up a loop, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, that's two, yarn over twice, pull up a loop, pull through two loops, pull through two loops and do that one last time. So it's very similar to the two double crochets together but they're treble so we're yarning over twice so therefore we're pulling through two loops twice and then as before yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook. And then from here we're going to create the little peak so we're going to chain four, two, three, four. We're going to slip stitch into the little loop on top that we created by pulling through all the loops. We're going to chain six from here, two, three, four, five, six. Slip stitch into that same loop and then we're going to chain four again and slip stitch into that same loop again. And that creates our little three pronged peak. And our snowflake's kind of starting to come together at this point. You can kind of see how it's going to look. So from here, we're going to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slip stitch into the next space. Chain seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to start with our treble crochets together. So we're going to yarn over twice, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, wrap it around twice, pull up a loop, pull through two loops, pull through two loops. I do that two more times. My threads keep separating. <laughs> yarn over twice, pull up a loop. Hopefully you'll you can kind of see what's going on here. Um, be able to work out. This is definitely not a tutorial for a complete beginner. Um, if you want a bit more of an in-depth tutorial for a complete beginner, just give me a shout, let me know. Uh, so pull through all the loops and then we're going to do our next peak. So chain four, slip stitch into the first chain, chain six, two, three, four, five, six, slip stitch into that chain and then chain four again and slip stitch and then you'll carry on by chaining seven, slip stitch into the next space, chain seven again and work the four treble crochet together and then the peak on top into the next space. So it's just repeating the pattern now until the end. And as before, we're going to slip stitch into the top of the peak, or the bottom of the peak, I should say. Um, so I've slip stitched into the last space and I'm just chaining the last chain of seven. And I'm going to use that peak, so the base of the peak, to do a slip stitch to join that last chain. You can see here, I'm just pulling through a loop, pulling the little the first little chain four prong out and then pulling my yarn through and I'm pulling it through giving it a little bit of a tail to be able to sew this in uh, later obviously depending on what you want to use it for at this point you can sew that in uh, you can glue it and cut it off uh, you can create a little um, 
that would dangle from it so you can hang it as a tree ornament you can use some starch to starch it pva glue to stiffen it um, sew it onto a project i've used mine in my junk journal so there's plenty of things you can do with these snowflakes um, so i hope you give it a try um, if you have any questions or anything please ask i'm definitely not a professional crocheter um, so I'll do my best to answer any questions uh, or to show a bit more in depth if you wish. Uh, but for now, that is a crochet snowflake. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you for December daily, uh, either later on today or first thing tomorrow. Till then, take care, speak to you later.